Look, I do have to tell you that life is indeed for living. You know, in the second of this um, discourse on marriage, falling in love, the second one's about, isn't it? Um, life is for living somewhere, I don't know how many minutes through. That's why God has created this situation. It's so that instead of being a misfit in heaven, you work out what your longings are, in this case on earth, and you find the consequences of such. When you fall in love, it's because that person is absolutely right for you to experience here and now. And there may be this combination, typically there is, of tremendous joy and happiness for a, a good few years perhaps, in my case, in each case. And when it fails, if it fails, it may not do. M mine have, but you know, yours may not. Then there's great sorrow if it fails. I mean, the word wretched is appropriate. You'll need to be very prepared for that. Listen to me, love. You need to be prepared for that. Make sure you have God in your heart and you will come through like Marshall has three, four times more. Perhaps. I'm not sure. Long time back now. <laughs> you come through. You need God in your heart. That sincerity, that knowing your values, being true to them, it will include being loving and kind. And if you are loving and kind, my experience is that God will always, always, always rescue you. I've been rescued more times than I can check. <laughs> so, coming back to my first point here, which is that this world is the opportunity for you to experience. You might experience being a conqueror of countries. Uh, you, know, you might experience being incredibly wealthy and successful. You might experience being incredibly holy and religious and goodness knows what else. You find out here the truth of the matter. You're here to master this problem that you may be free in eternity in heaven and an absolute blessing to all including our Heavenly Father. This is the school in which you learn and set aside those longings and misgivings that would undermine your eternal happiness in heaven. And so you are here to experience the outcome these longings without it stopping you experiencing life eternal. Got it? God loves you. He's with you. He's teaching you. He's rescuing you into life eternal. Where you can be given your complete freedom because you are complete safety to us all in heaven. You are sealed in harmony. You no longer have any of these misgivings that would warrant you 
spending more time in a place like this, here in this universe, of time, space, matter, change and uncertainty, good and evil, that you might learn. And yes, it is true, you don't have to go the hard way. You can listen to good advice, sort out what it is, seek wisdom, godly wisdom, but seek it. It is wisdom, not trite acceptance, but wisdom and understanding, thought, the mind of God, the teaching of the Holy Spirit within you. You can come the easy way, and in large measure I have. As you can see, I have not suffered desperate poverty, terrible disease, you know, mayhem. But I have suffered, relative to my experience, I've suffered. That's what being wretched is. But it's the purpose, you see. Your dad loves you. If you love your kids, how much more does your dad, your heavenly dad, love you? Just be reasonable. Not a case of a shot in the dark. It's a case of knowing what your values are. Putting your trust in them out of gratitude to God. For his loving kindness in giving you this opportunity here to retrain, to graduate into life eternal. Bless you. Bless you, and you are blessed. Bless you. Thank you, Dad. Let me review this recording. Yeah, I think that's it. We'll see. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Dad.